Oracle host Postgres SQL. Wait a second. The company <laughs> that is my SQL? What are they? What's happening here? Isn't this crazy? It, it, I feel like we have a, 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 a every every podcast we have Oracle is mentioned, but they're just they they're that kind of disruptive. Uh, I love it. It's it's like the kid you can't control. Um, so yeah, Oracle is hosting Postgres SQL as part of uh, Oracle database uh, in the, in OCI. Um, so it's a database service. Uh, Postgres SQL. Postgres SQL, the number four distribution in the world. Um, the number one enterprise uh, open source um, database distribution. You know, MySQL is as well, but there are, there are limitations to MySQL. Postgres SQL for many years has been a serious competitor and threat to both Oracle and Microsoft SQL Server and, and Oracle database. Um, and lo and behold, Oracle Cloud <laughs> comes out with an announcement that they're going to be hosting uh, Postgres SQL uh, up in the cloud. It's not in any way um, they haven't they haven't you know they've taken the open source distribution and created their own for for service. They haven't limited the functionality in any way to to um, disadvantage it versus their Oracle offerings uh, in in any way whatsoever. It's their it's part of their embrace of of the open source community. You know they've done it with Open Search uh, and a number of other functionalities as well. Really not a not a long discussion on this. It's just I wanted to throw out there. Just you know, I love to see how aggressively Oracle is going after the cloud and establishing itself kind of as the data cloud, if you will. Uh, and and they're doing it, understanding that you know, kind of this is a different market they 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 live in, and it's no longer just about selling Oracle database licenses. It's really you know, this is this is this is openness at its finest and. This is the last company I would have thought <laughs> ten years ago would be uh, would be supporting Postgres SQL. So yeah, I think this demonstrates to me that um, they want to be a larger open platform IaaS play, right? Mm -hmm. And and maybe even a PaaS play if they're going to do Postgres as a as a service. Mm -hmm. And you have to do that uh, when you know to to grow that that IaaS uh, footprint now. Just to be clear, you said in the cloud, this is an OCI service, right? Correct. Yes. I got yes. you. Yep. Can you uh, can you run this on-prem uh, as part of cloud a customer by chance, which is it, quote unquote on-prem cloud? Yeah. As it's so, if it's part of the OCI service, you should be able to uh, you should be able to run it. On, yeah, as a Oracle Cloud at customer, you should be able to run on uh, on on-prem as well. Yeah. Yeah, okay. it, 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 it's really brilliant if you think about it. I mean, just like MySQL, you, organizations are huge. There is no single standard for databases within an enterprise. Even though you, even though you might set that standard, data, you know, open source databases are getting used everywhere. Um, and Postgres is everywhere. To embrace it rather than push it away, it's a, it's, it's a brilliant move. I mean, it's, uh, and it's certainly going to, uh, anyway, I'll show you. You get where I'm going. I get where I get where you're going, buddy. 